Apple is finally fixing the iPad Pro and making it Pro again. Yes, we just got the most solid confirmation that Apple is completely revamping iPadOS 16 at WWDC in just a couple of days. And the best part of all is that we actually have leaks and patents to back it up. But before I get into Mark Gurman's new bombshell leak report on iPadOS 16, I want to go through the story of how Apple ruined the launch of the M1 iPad Pro. When Apple revealed the current iPad Pro back in April of last year, we were totally blown away because Apple decided to give it the same exact M1 chip from their new Apple Silicon Mac lineup. And not only that, but we were shocked when we saw that the performance wasn't even getting throttled compared to the M1 Max, despite being impossibly thin. So because the performance of the M1 chip was so overkill for an iPad, and it literally still is today, many people, including myself, expected Apple's iPadOS 15 update at last year's WWDC to completely change the way the iPad works, finally making it pro again. And there were literally people buying the M1 iPad Pro in anticipation of an awesome iPadOS 15 update because that's the only way anyone could make sense of the M1 chip making its way to the iPad Pro, which was already a bit overkill with the previous A12Z chip. And the fact that Apple gave the iPad Pro a full-on Thunderbolt port gave people a lot of hope because Apple's file system was pretty bad in terms of actually being able to utilize that Thunderbolt port properly. But by far the biggest hint was that the M1 iPad Pro was able to be configured with up to 16 gigabytes of RAM if you bought a one terabyte model. And this was a big deal because we all found out in May that iPadOS 14 limited apps to only up to 5 gigabytes of RAM each way less than the 16 gig RAM iPad Pro. So that was basically nail in the coffin proof that Apple just had to give us a crazy good pro focused iPadOS 15 update. And then WWDC finally came along and Apple completely disappointed everyone in basically every way possible. There was no iPadOS multitasking overhaul like everyone expected. External display support was still terrible with black bars on the sides since the aspect ratio doesn't match up. There were no new pro apps to take advantage of the M1 chip's overkill performance. And even with iPadOS 15, the 5GB RAM limit remained until months later. They did, however, show off the new universal control feature, which allows you to use one mouse and keyboard to control both your iPad and your Mac, but that's basically a slap in the face because it requires a Mac instead of just making the iPad more pro and it didn't even come out until earlier this year. And making things even worse, when we actually downloaded iPadOS 15 beta, we had various issues like Thunderbolt performance being very slow compared to Thunderbolt on the Mac, and other issues like SSDs getting corrupted because there still isn't an eject button. And that's when we started seeing more and more posts and comments by people who were returning their M1 iPad Pros because of how disappointed they were with iPadOS 15. But now it looks like we finally have some confirmation from Mark Gurman that we are in fact getting some major multitasking updates with iPadOS 16, so let's jump right in. Now jumping right in, as you can see, I have Mark Gurman's Twitter open right here. He actually works for Bloomberg Business, and he's actually one of the most reliable Apple leakers and analysts out there right now because his accuracy rating is very high, despite having a massive amount of different leaks that he has shared over the past years. Now, he just posted a new tweet this morning sharing his new Bloomberg story, saying that Apple plans to make the iPad more like a laptop, and less like a phone. He's saying that WWDC is gonna be pretty jam packed, expecting a lot of different upgrades with iPadOS 16, watchOS 9, and other upgrades in terms of software and some hardware as well, which we just talked about in our WWDC video that we posted the other day. Now let's jump in to the iPadOS 16 updates because I believe that is what everybody is gonna be talking about. I mean, this is gonna be a huge change. Now jumping into his Bloomberg article, he's saying that Apple will announce significant changes 
to the iPad software next week, part of a push to make the device more like a laptop and less like a phone. Now he's saying that this is gonna be a major software update and it's gonna have a redesigned multitasking interface that makes it easier to see what apps are open and switch between tasks said the people or his sources who asked not to be identified just yet. And on top of that, he's saying that it will also let users resize app windows and offer new ways for users to handle multiple apps at once. Now that is exactly what everybody has been asking for for years. And I remember a few years ago when Apple made their advertisement, which basically said, what's a computer, implying that the iPad is now a computer, I made a review video and I said, the one thing I want the iPad Pro to do is let me resize different app windows and have them on the screen at the same time. I said, we need that in order for the iPad Pro to actually become a laptop replacement, and it looks like that is exactly what Apple is gonna be doing with iPadOS 16. Now moving on, he's saying that the new iPad interface will be one of the biggest upgrades announced at the conference, which I fully believe. Because right now, iPad users can either run apps in a full screen view, like on an iPhone, or run two apps side by side. And the company also lets users add a scaled down version of a third app by sliding it over from the side. But personally, I think that sucks. I never really use it. It's not that great. But thankfully, the changes will expand upon that interface. So they're finally gonna make it work a lot better. And the awesome thing about Mark Gurman's confirmation is that it basically confirms some Apple patents, which were fine which a lot of people didn't believe, but now he's confirmed it, saying that we are getting all of those changes, so check out these patents from Apple. As you can see, this shows an iPad interface with an Apple Pencil, but you have a macOS-like user experience, including you have the Finder, different menu bars right here, and two different windows, one stacked onto the other with some icons, almost like a desktop interface, which reminds me of Samsung DeX for their tablets, which works absolutely amazingly. It's just awesome. Dex is amazing. Not only that, but they showed off some different new keyboard cases that attach in different ways. So maybe we might see a new keyboard case coming with a new iPad Pro later this year. But jumping back to this macOS-like interface, the thing that blows my mind is that we actually got a leak from Majin Boo on Twitter saying that Apple is developing a smart system for iPadOS. Apps will continue to open full screen but automatically shrink when connected to a keyboard and a trackpad, which is basically the magic keyboard case, which is absolutely amazing. He's saying that internally it's called Apple Mixer. We don't know if it'll be included in iPadOS 16 or not, which now I think we are because Mark Gurman just confirmed it. And the craziest thing of all, he says it should be M1 iPad exclusive. Now this is totally genius by Apple because both the iPad Pro and the iPad Air now have the M1 chip, and I believe they'll continue to get M series chips moving forward into the future. So whether you have an iPad Air or an iPad Pro, you'll be able to use this new macOS-like interface, this new Pro mode with multiple windows and better multitasking, which means you gotta pay more for those iPads, which is great for Apple. And not only that, it requires a Magic Keyboard case or a case with a keyboard and trackpad, which is really good because both the iPad Air and the iPad Pro support the Magic Keyboard case. So basically, Apple is gonna be making a ton of money. Now, not only that, but Majin Buu also said that Apple is working on a version of Final Cut for the iPad. Now, it's not gonna be on par with the actual Final Cut Pro that we have on the Mac, but it is gonna be Final Cut coming to the iPad, which was leaked in previous leaks from John Prosser, and it looks like we're finally getting it. And this is a really big deal because we know that we have an overkill amount of performance with the M1 chip, but nowhere to spend that extra power. Well, here you go. We have pro apps like Final Cut, hopefully Logic, and Xcode as well, coming with iPadOS 16, and having this new multitasking mode that's kind of like Mac OS is gonna be an absolutely huge deal, and I think Apple is gonna sell a ton of 
iPad Airs and iPad Pros. Now, if you have a hard time imagining what it's gonna look like, we actually made a video a month ago talking about this whole iPad OS 16 and how Apple's gonna fix the iPad Pro. But within that video, we actually showed off some concepts from Parker Ortolani, and I have them right over here. So, as you can see, multitasking in his imagination shows off the different apps in a much better view because you have the small apps separated from the social apps, potentially like podcasts, and your web pages and larger apps. So that's pretty nice right there. You also have popover apps, which I think is awesome because it looks like it's resizable and you can move it around like for the Apple Music app and also being able to pair different apps together side by side, up to three or four. So I like his imagination. Even better, I like that you can have this dock where you can hover over an app and have different tabs and pages shown where you can actually close them down. And this right here is what I really want, having stacks built into the dock so you can open up your files and have access to them more easily. Another cool thing is a redesigned Apple Pencil menu that's kind of like this wheel that he showed off, which I think would be great for artists and they would definitely appreciate that but the one thing that I really really want is a new display studio mode like Parker showed off right here actually having automatic aspect ratio resizing when you hook up to an external display from your iPad and having this new interface that would be amazing but with all that said I honestly think that iPad OS 16 is gonna be the best iPad software update ever, and I honestly think that it's gonna fix the M1 iPad Pro alongside the new M2 iPad Pro that's gonna be coming this year, and I think a lot of people are gonna be buying them. So if you completely disagree with my thoughts, then comment them down below, but if you enjoyed the video, click the circle above to subscribe. Definitely check out one of those two videos right over there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.